let's do it. Let's get rolling. Let's get ready to get warmed up. All you're going to need is one single dumbbell for this entire workout. It could be a, a, a pretty light one or up to a medium, a moderate one. And if you have multiple dumbbells, you can have those available so you can switch it out for different exercises if you need to. And it's going to get resume recording. All right, so we are rolling, we are recording. All right, so multiple dumbbells. If you have them, you just need one single dumbbell, light dumbbell for the entire workout. First, we're going to get warmed up. So I'm just going to get a couple of different options here for myself just to have it. And you should have, if you only have one, that's fine. It should just be light. It's going to be for cardio, for fast moving stuff, for long circuits of exercises. And let's start. Want to get those shoulders loosened up. So you're going to walk forward, big forward shoulder circles, and come backwards with backward shoulder circles just to get moving. Forward shoulder circles. If you're watching this on Facebook, it is also all over on Zoom at the same time. So if you want to click on the Zoom link, you can go to the Zoom link. It's just recording here on both for the hell of it. So forward shoulder circles while you're walking forward, backward circles while you're walking backwards. Fling them, fling them. Right there. All right, now you're gonna walk forward and do a knee hug while you're walking forward. Hug the knee up to your chest. Step it down. Knee hug, step down. And then as you're going backwards, you're gonna do a quad stretch. Heel to the glute and step back. Heel to the glute, step back. The leg you're standing on, keep that knee slightly bent. Again, as you're walking forward, Knee hug, if you need to do this in place, holding on something, do what you gotta do. If you can, walk forward with it. Hug the knee to the chest, walking forward. And then quad stretch, going backwards. Stretch a quad, step it back. Knee hug forward. Again, one more time each. Try to get those hips loosened up. Quad stretched and loosened up. And right back to the quads, going backwards. Stretch them. Make sure the leg you're standing on, that knee stays slightly bent. We're just getting leg to move. All right, you're gonna be walking forward again, flinging that chest open and close. You're gonna walk backwards, holding just one stretch on the right side. Walk forward, flinging it right on the top, right on the bottom, and walking backwards, holding the other side. Walk forward, fling them, open that chest up, and backwards, holding that first arm, stretch while you're walking back. Fling them right on the top, right on the bottom. Catch a stretch, walk it back. Keep those legs moving. One more time each. Or whatever space you have, you could do more or whatever if you ran out of room or if you have more room. Walking backwards, last one. Fling it, catch it, stretch it, walk it backwards. All right, wide stance, wider than shoulder width. Wanna get those hamstrings, inner thighs, stretch a little bit. You're gonna come to the middle. Touch both hands to the middle, come up, overhead. Now you reach both hands to the right foot. Come up and open the chest up. Back to the middle, overhead. Now reach both hands to the left, arms to the side. Middle, arms up. Middle, or right, arms out. Middle, up, left, out. Breathe it out. Up, right, and out, a couple more times around. Go at your own pace. If you need to hold that bottom position a little longer, do what you gotta do. Middle, up, right, out. Middle, up, left, out. Shake those arms out. Shake them, shake them, shake them. We're gonna go into this first round. It's pretty easy, pretty light. If you do have different dumbbells, take a lighter one now, just because this is kind of a secondary warm-up round. It's just going to be a shuffle, so give yourself a little space, shuffle side to side. It could be a short shuffle, long shuffle. If you have a lighter weight, just grab that lighter weight now. So literally, I'm just going to hold this weight at my shoulder, a shoulder rack with the right arm. Pay attention, because these racks, these different holds are going to be doing all throughout the workout and switching both sides. So every exercise gets done with all these different holds, and every exercise gets done right side and left side. So just in your right hand right now, abs are strong, and you're just gliding 
across the floor. Make sure you have all the junk out of your way around you so you don't trip over anything. It's just in your right hand. Whatever space you have. Be short, so if you don't have much space, it's fine. You can just be here. It could be two clicks across the floor. Right across, elbow tucked into your side. Strong grip. Tap it, line across. We're just getting warmed up, getting used to all these different holds. So this is going to be a warm-up round, but it's going to be a pretty long warm-up round since so it's flowing into the work. Starting off nice and easy, just like this. Holding it. When you're holding that nice strong grip, crush it. Your, your arms should be squeezing tight. Elbow tucked into the ribs. That shoulder's getting a little bit of a rest, but the bicep is tight. Forearm is tight. And stop. You're stopping just to switch arms so you can switch safely. Hold in your left arm. Tuck the elbow in and over to your shuffle. Glide across the floor. Tap and glide. Zip it across. Zip it, zip it. Left hand. Glide across and tap. The other hand, keep it up just for the hell of it. So you're controlled and balanced. It's in your left arm, shoulder rack. So remember, this is the shoulder rack. You have to hit it right and left. Time. All right. Back to your right arm. What you're going to do is hold this up in the air, stabilize that shoulder while we're shuffling across the floor. Don't forget, it's cardio day, so you don't need a heavy weight here. Especially here in the warm up. Holding it straight overhead. Gliding across the floor. Tap it across. Balls of your feet. Just get those legs loosened up. Stabilize that shoulder. Make sure your core is tight. Otherwise, you're going to be leaning to one side. Don't let yourself, let, let yourself lean to the side. Tap it across. Glide, glide. Change directions. And time. Time is just enough to switch it over to the other arm. Left arm. Straight overhead. And glide it across. Balls of your feet. Zipping, zipping, light of your feet. Gliding. Just getting those legs warmed up. Getting those arms warmed up. Straighten out that shoulder. Or tighten that shoulder, straighten out that arm. Bicep is by your ear. Glide across. And time. Alright? If you can. You're going to hold it out with one arm if you have a very light weight. If your weight is heavy, do not hold this out with one arm. Hold it out with two. So you're going to be gliding across. This one's a lot harder of a hold, so if you need to, listen. After each time, just bring it down for a second. Or you can tuck it into your chest for a second. And then hold it out there for a couple. I can go there and back. Bring it down. Bring it right back up. Just to give it a break. If you can... You can hold that in one hand if you have a light enough weight. If you have a selection of weights, choose your lighter weight. If not, then just do both hands on one. And again, you really want your arms extended like here, far out. If it's too heavy, just go in a little bit. More, more. If you have to, you just go to here with two arms. If you can, we're still on the right arm. Line across. Time. Bring it down just to switch. Over to the left arm. Gliding across. Pulling it straight out front of you. Modify if you need to, you can hold both hands on the weight. This is not a workout where you need a heavy weight at all. Cardio type dumbbell weight. You start losing it, just bring both hands on it for a round. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll put both hands on it. Time! So that was shoulder rack. That was hold up. That was hold out. Now we're going to do press up. We're still on that shuffle, but before we continue, I want you stretching those quads a little more. we are just getting warmed up. I want you to stretch your hip flexor right here. Back leg is straight, front leg is bent, and turn. Turn into that forward bent leg. You can grab it, push off it. You have good enough. Hold on something, hold on something, but reach up and high. Cross level. Reach across and low. Ease out and switch sides. Get those legs ready to work. We got a ton to get to. Push off that leg to turn to open up that hip flexor and reach up and high across. Reach middle. Reach down. Ease out. Pick up that weight. Right arm. Right arm. You'll be pressing up while we're shuffling. 
Let's do it. Find your own rhythm. Shuffling it while you're gliding across the floor, while you're pressing it. Stay in stride. Pumping it. Don't start me. And then I'm blocking you and then I'm just doing it on camera. Pump it. Right arm. Shuffle it across. Pump that arm. Abs are strong. It's a warm up, but you're already getting working. Your heart rate should be getting up. You should be starting to break a sweat. Pump that out. And switch left arm. Right away. We're just stopping just long enough to switch arms. And you keep moving. Breathe it out for those presses if you have to. Palm is in the whole time. Your palm facing in. So it's not out here. It's in tight. So you can see from the side, I'm just pushing straight up and down while I shuffle. Pop, pop, pop. Switch directions. Keep that pace. Left arm. Again, if you start losing, you can't do one arm, you're just here. Two hands, pressing if you have to. If your single arm starts losing it. Otherwise, you're still on left arm. Abs are strong. Time. Right arm. Now we're pressing out. So it's here. Again, if it's too heavy, press halfway to a short distance or press with both hands. Right there. Let's do it. Shuffle, right arm, press out. Ha, ha, ha. Pump it out. Oh yeah. Abs are strong. Strong grip. Strong arm. Strong shoulder. Pumping it. Breathe it out. Strong core. Just come up to these. On Facebook, if you are watching on Facebook, this is also going on on Zoom. If you want to get on Zoom, you can switch right over to the Zoom. Usual Zoom link. Just want to stream it on both. Just for the hell of it. And switch left arm. Shuffle. Hand going forward. Press out. Ha. 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 Glide on your feet. Quick change your directions. Keep your other hand up. You're fast paced. You're lighting your feet. And listen, you can't do it. You're here. You can't even shuffle. You start losing. You've got both hands here. And tap out if you have to. There's always a way to work around it. Always a modification. We're on left arm. Pressing out while we're shuffling. Quick change of direction. Pop, 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 pop. Quick shift. Oh yeah. And time. That is the end of the warm up. Shuffling round. Move it. Shake it. Sip it. Stretch it. Sip your drink. Not, not your sweat dripping down. But that too if you need to. Sip your sweat. Just suck it in. There's no time. You should be used to sweat and the salt pouring in your eyes. If you freak out when salty sweat pours in your eyes, you know you haven't been sweating hard enough. You should be used to that by now. It shouldn't even affect you. In the Marine Corps, we used to have sand fleas all over us. In South Carolina, they'd be crawling on you. You couldn't budge. You couldn't move. You couldn't blink. Eventually, they'd just get near your nose, and you just had to snort it in to get rid of it. Otherwise, they're biting the hell out of you. You're covered in dozens of sand fleas. All right, keep that dumbbell out. Again, we're also over on Zoom. At the same time, if you're in the Facebook group, this is also going on Zoom, if you want to hop in so you can be on camera. Shake it out, stretch those shoulders, get your dumbbell ready. This, if you have, if you have a medium dumbbell, this is the round, you'll probably want to go to the medium or heavier weight. Still light, think about it, it's still cardio, but this is going to be slower movement, not fast pace. So get your dumbbell. And if you don't have a dumbbell, you can grab anything for this. Again, you don't need heavy weight. Jug of water, bottle of water, whatever. All right. So we're going to start palm in. Knees are bent, abs are strong, and you're just doing a single arm press. Again, we're going palm in this time. Just because it's light, moderate weight, we're not thinking a heavy press. We want to pump this out. Kind of a, 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 slow, a little faster pace than normal. Right away, switch over left arm. Pumping it. Press on the left arm. It's only going to be a few reps because it's going to be a long circuit and we're just still getting these muscles moving. <sighs> Breathe out. <sighs> Stabilize your body. Slight bend your knees. Abs strong. Shoulders level. Pop. Pop. Right over to the right arm. We're just going about five to eight reps each. Squat with the right arm. Holding it in the shoulder rack position for a squat. <sighs> in through the nose down. Out through the mouth up. In through the nose down. 
you over there. Yeah. There's plenty of space here. Drive it up. Left arm, keep the squats going. You're only stopping for that split second just to switch arms. All these rounds, that's how you do it. Drive it. In through the nose down, out through the mouth up. Brace those abs. Head is up, chest is out, shoulders are back and down. Right arm. Palm in, it's just a hammer curl. Control it, we're not worried about twisting. So it's from the side of your leg, squeeze it up. Elbow is a long, right lined up your spine. The entire time. Oh my god. As I'm pointing it, that's our main. I bash it. The left one is our main. Palm in. Squeeze it. Dig it. And left side for the curl. Pump it. Left arm curl. Dig, dig, dig. Squeeze, drive it, right away, right back to the right arm, squat to press, back on the hips and heels, drive it up, in through the nose down, breathe it out, down together, up together, right arm, palm is in the whole time, we're not twisting the wrist, not keeping the palm forward, because we want a little tempo to this, should be light to moderate weight. Think I'm getting a cardio up back. Switch, left arm. Squat to press. Left arm. You should be getting out of breath just as quickly as your muscles are burning. You should be hitting the wall about the same time. Muscles are going first. Before the air, your waist probably too heavy. You want light to moderate cardio type weight. And those shoulders, I'm sorry, legs are going to get a break. Right arm, curl the press. Palm in. Curl the press. Whew. Squeeze it. Bicep curl, shoulder press, complete control. As you're pushing up, don't let yourself lean to the side. It's going to want to lean to the side. Don't let it. We only need a few each side. That's it. We're only going like five to eight each side here. Brace those abs. Drive it. Squeeze it. Switch, left arm. Curl, press. Chance to get that other side of break. This is why you're going to get a cardio effect before the muscle burns out. Because we're constantly switching side to side. So, the, so we can just keep moving, not need to take breaks. There's going to be a lot of long rounds here. Some rounds later are going to get ridiculously long. As you saw in that warm up round with the shuffling, that was like 10 minutes long. And right away, right arm. Squat to curl, right arm. Squat, curl it up. We're just keeping the palm in the whole time. So we don't have to wait for that wrist to twist up. Squat, curl. If you feel like you're having too hard a time getting it outside your leg, look, just put it in close to that inner side of your right thigh. Left side. Squat to curl. See how we're just flowing. Your only stop is for that split second to change the side over to the other arm. That's it. Breathe it out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Drive it. Boom. Exhale. And time. Shake it out. Keep those weights nearby. You're going to be using them all day. Shake it. Stretch it. Keep it moving. Active recovery. Keep rolling. Keep moving. All right, we're going to pick the pace up a little bit. We're going to go squat thrust and crawl out round. It's a squat thrust crawl out round. Still with that single dumbbell. Doesn't need to be heavy. I'm use a 20 pounder. So it's in the right arm only. Only squat thrust, only right arm. Let's do it. So you're squatting down, jumping back, jumping in, coming up. Right arm the whole time. It doesn't change. Just squat thrust. This squat thrust crawl out round, we're going to mix in in between a lot of the different rounds. Quick little burst here. Squat thrust only. Right arm. You only need a few. Because you 
know we still got your left arm. You know we got other exercises. Twist, left arm. Still squat thrust. Squat down, jump the feet back, jump into the squat position, and stand up. So squat down on your heels. Back, in, up. You need a modification? Check it out. Squat down, step, step, squat in, step in, step in, and squat up. So you can do a walking squat thrust if you need to. Push it out. You're good, you're going at your own pace. Left arm squat thrust. Left arm only. Time, put it in your right hand. You're gonna go crawl out. So widen the shoulder width stance. Squat down, so both hands to the floor, curl your hands out, push up position, crawl back in, and come up. Squat down, crawl out, crawl in, stand up. Weight in that right hand only. Control it. It's a little slower movement. Work a little more, entire body. Crawl out, your feet are staying in place while your arms are moving. Opposite of the squat thrust, where your arms stay in place and your feet are moving. Squat straight up. One more with the right arm. Out to the full push up position. And squat it up. Put the weight to your left arm. And we're going to keep rolling. Squat it down. Walk it forward. Full push up. Squat up. Don't fly. Don't hurt your knees too much. You're going to hurt your knees. Squat down to get down there. Full push up position. Crawl it in. Come up. Down. Roll it out. Abs are strong. You're working your chest, your shoulders, your tries. Staying solid. Stiff as can be. Straight as a board in that out position. Let's roll. Two more. Come on. Let's roll. Two more. Suck it up. Breathe. Last one, last one, last one. Full push up position. Time, shake it. Little mini breather in between rounds. So that different variations of that squat thrust crawl around are gonna go in between a lot of the different rounds. So keep moving. Next coming up is a faster paced round. It's gonna be very similar to that shuffling round we did in the beginning except it's going to be with jump instead of shuffling. So in between, you should be getting ready. Stretch those shoulders because you know we're going to have all those different holds and presses that we did earlier in the warm-up shuffling round. We're doing all of those now mixed with jacks with our feet. And then you know they're all single side, so we got to do them all with the right and all with the left. So it's twice as long around. Pick your weight. This one should be a little lighter, probably, because this is one we have to go up and out and all that other good stuff. So we're starting the shoulder rack position, same as that shuffle. Weight locked in place, elbow on your side. Brace your core and just jack, jack it out. Right here, bouncing your step, light on your feet. Boom. Feet are just gliding across the floor. Your only stop is to switch arms and keep jumping. Left arm. Keep jumping. There it is. Abs strong. Light on your feet. Bouncing your step. Time. Right arm. Putting your steering wheel ahead. Jack. Stabilize that shoulder. Listen, you start losing it in that jack. Remember, hold it up and just press out. You start losing the shoulder. Just bring it back down to the rack. You know all these different positions now. If you're feeling good, like I am, put it overhead. Right arm. Lock that shoulder. Lock that arm. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Left arm. Get it up there. All the way up. Left arm. And jack it out. Ha, 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 bounce, light. Make sure those abs are tight and you're gonna feel it in your lower back. Again, if you need to, tap it out to the side to modify. Stabilize that shoulder. 
Time, bring it down. This is one where you're gonna hold out. It's gonna be one if you have a lighter weight, switch to it. You're holding it straight out in front of you with the right arm. So it's right here. Don't forget if you have to, hold double arm. Straight out in front. Jack, go. If you can, get that arm shoulder level, parallel to the floor. Okay, you start losing it. Look, just right here. Or hold it halfway out. So at least it's in front of you and you get a little work in that arm. If you're holding it straight out, just wearing your shoulder down, come here. Or even here. Do what you gotta do. Pump it out. And left arm. We lost one screen. There it is. Pump it, pump it. Left arm, straight out in front of you. What the heck that was? Pop, pop. Oh yeah. Bounce. Remember, halfway if you have to, that shoulder starts fading. Tuck it all the way in if you have to. Tap the feet if you have to. If the legs are going first before the arm, if they're both going, Hold it in and tap. There is always a way to make it happen. Time. Back to the right arm. Jack, press up. Let's do it. One of these is frozen. That's all right. Let's do it. Let's keep moving. Jack, press up. We still got good on Facebook. Looks like one of these. Is logged out or something. Pump it out. Pump. Ab strong. Extend the arm. Pump. Breathe. Shake. Jack press up. It's actually easier than holding it. Because you get that break as you bring it down. Time. Left arm. And jack press up. Pump it out. Just checking one of these feeds. That's our main one. Why is it frozen there? But it's up there. Show me. Pump it out. Bounce. Low. Rhythm. Oh yeah. And time. Right arm. Jack press out. Arm pushes forward while the feet go apart. Go. Pop. 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 Don't forget, you start losing it. Or if it's too heavy, just go halfway out. Or two inches out, whatever. Challenge yourself, whatever you can handle. If you need to tap the feet out while you press, do what you gotta do. Switch, left arm. Last one for the circuit. Jack, press out. Left arm. Don't forget, you have to go double arm. If it's too heavy of a weight, or grab a real light weight. Grab a Bottle of water if you have to. You'll get the effect, trust me. Ah, four, three, two, one, time. And put it down. Shake it out, that segment's over. Shake it. Stretch those shoulders out. We are live over on the Zoom feed also, if you're watching this on Facebook. But one of these froze, which I don't know why. Keep. Keep rolling, stretching, active recovery here in between. You should already be, you should be out of breath. Your shoulders should be feeling it. Your arms should be pumped up. Legs should be working already. And one of these is showing us good. But it's frozen on one screen. Anyway, shake those arms, stretch them. All right, we're going back to that squat thrust and crawl out round. This is one, if you have a heavier weight, you'll probably use a slightly heavier weight. You don't have to worry about holding it up and overhead. You're just literally holding it down to the side. So we're going squat thrust. You're going to alternate the arm each rep. Every rep, alternating the arm. So you're going to... Squat down, jump back, jump in, come up. At the top position, just put it in the left arm. Squat down, jump back, jump in, and come up. It's showing? Both of them? It's showing you. Both? Yeah. Both. And sh switch to the right arm. Down, in, and up. Switch left. Pop. 
There it is. Just switch arms. At the top position, don't switch while you're moving. So you're up and at, in between that breath. Squat thrust it out, switch arms. There it is. Straight up. Switch arms. Oh yeah. Other side. Couple more. We're working. Abs real strong while you're jumping those feet back there. Squat down, jump back, jump in. Squat up, switch arms, squat down, jump back, jump in. Up. We are rolling. Oh yeah. Switch at the top. Every time. Here it is. One more each side. Last one on the left. Or the lever arm you're on. Time. All right, so I'll start with the right arm. You got crawl outs, switching every position, or every after every rep. Squat down, crawl all the way out, full push up position. Crawl back in, stand up, put in the left arm, down, all the way out, crawl it in, stand up, and switch. Switching arms, full push up position. Those abs gotta be tight. Let those legs lift you up. Let the legs lower you down. So you're not just flopping over at the freaking waist. Walking out there, using your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. Strong. Oh yeah. Keep rolling. Walk it out. Ab side. Squat up. One more each arm. Whatever arm you're on, one more each arm. Last one. Squat thrust crawl around is just the intermission between the row rounds. Time. Shake it. Hydrate. Stretch those arms, stretch those shoulders. Shows you here. What about the second one? The only one? No, the other one frozen. is frozen. Put up here, it's showing on the screen. Shake those shoulders out. Shake the chest out. Keep it rolling. A couple more seconds. I want you to be covering. Is, is Huma still there or she... Stretch it, stretch the shoulders, stretch the quads. Next round coming up, I'll give you a couple extra seconds. It's gonna be a long round. It's gonna be a hard round. On your chest, on your shoulders, on your tries, on your core. So stretch them out in an extra 20 seconds here. Stretch it. Dig, dig, dig. Keep rolling. Just trying to get all cameras on here. Shake it, stretch it. There we go. So we might have even lost sound on one of those because the one camera was out. Oh, black. Stretch, move. Let's unmute this one just in case. So one of the cameras might have been out. So I'm gonna unmute the other one in case you couldn't hear. But still, you can watch this stuff and follow right along what's going on because one of the you know, two different cameras looks like one of them was out. So you may hear it now. With an echo. This next round is going to be a long one. It's going to be a hard one. So make sure your shoulders are ready. All right, let's get your dumbbell. But the thing is, you can use your heavier weight, as crazy as that sounds. The heavier weight. You don't have to worry about pushing it overhead. You don't have to worry about pushing out or any of that stuff. All right, so get the weight in hand. If you're doing a push up walk, just in your right hand, the weight's in your right hand only. All you're doing is walking across the floor in the push-up position. You're going to be right hand. He's a little revolver right there. Behind me, phone right there. Right arm only. Walking across the floor. Time. You're going on your knees just to switch to the left hand. Now the other hand, push up position, 
Walking across. Abs are strong. Back is straight. Walking side to side, whatever space you have. Could be short distance, long distance, doesn't matter. We're gonna be flipping our set here in the, in the plank or the push up walk position, the high plank, lateral walk, alternating with sets on our back. Time, switch onto your back. You're gonna go flutter kicks, holding the weight straight up in the air. Kicking your legs. Go. Flutter kicks. Pump it. Arm straight up. Right arm only. Abs tight. Pump. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring those legs down. Bring the weight down. Switch to the left arm. Get the left arm up. And back to those flutter kicks. Look, if you need to modify, just put one leg on the floor. And lift one up at a time. Pumping it right here. Pump. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. We're going right back to that push up walk. This time we're going to start with the left arm. Walking across. Push up walk. Side to side. Hands are lined up, directly under the shoulders. Hips down, back straight. Core has to be tight. Stiff as a board. Locked. Solid. In place. Oh yeah. And switch right arm. Down to your knees. Just a switch. To the right arm. Go. Ha. Tight. Strong. Ass out of the air. Walking across. You don't need a ton of them. Time. Right back onto your back. Left arm first. Pressing while you're flutter kicking. Pressing while you flutter kick. Go. Find a rhythm. If you have to. Just alternate which leg comes up first. Boom. One leg down on the floor, the other one up. That triceps should start getting tired going right after that push up walk. That's why we're switching which arm goes first each time. So they both get the effect. Bring the feet down, arm down, put the weight over to the other hand, and start pressing. Right arm, flutter kicks, breathe, pump it out. Abs are strong. Last it. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Right back to that push up walk. So flip back over. You're going to use only your right hand. Check it out. It's going to be even a little slower paced. Push up position. So you're going to step to the right, row right. Step to the right. Row right, step to the left, row right, or whatever, whatever way you're stepping, doesn't matter, whatever you have space for. The closer you put your feet together, the harder it's gonna be. So you're basically gonna push up, walk, after every step, right arm row. We do not need a lot of them, because you are working your entire body like crazy. Row it. Somebody gave that little extra break. Time. On your back, on your back. You're now doing leg lifts, holding the right arm. Hold it straight up in the air. Double leg leg lifts. Tap, squeeze it up. Straight legs. If you need to, again, you're just gonna do one at a time. Or you could just do, right here, lower crunch. If it's too much on your hip, flexor or lower back. Right arm is just locked in the air. It's going to be a challenge just holding that weight up there. Especially if you picked your heavier weight. Squeeze it up. So legs straight or knees straight. Leg lift, hold right. Two more. Tight. Squeeze it. Ha. Legs down. Weight down. Safely. Switch to the other hand. Bring that left arm up. And 
both legs. Ha! Oh yeah. Tight, tight, tight. Squeeze those abs. Squeeze that core. Tight, strong abs. Don't arch your lower back. Squeeze it up. Couple more. Two more. Ha! Time. We're flipping right back over. Left arm, walking to the side with the left arm row. Push up position. Right here. Step to the left. Row left. Where we'll step whatever direction you have space for. And for every step, you're rolling with that left arm. Even when you're stepping to the right. Weights in your left hand only while you're walking. And row it. Walk. And row it. Keep moving. Keep walking. Oh yeah. Ha. Abs strong. Two more. Time. Right back onto your back. Last one for this round. Hip raise to press. Right arm. So you're in bridge position. As the hips go up, the weight goes up. Palm is in. Tap your elbow to the floor. Tap your hips to the floor. Right back up. Push through your heels. Toes should be in the air. So you're pushing through your heels, squeezing your glutes. Pump it out. Breathe out as you push up. And through those come down. Get a rhythm. Pump it. Blast it. Come on, four more. Ha! Let that tricep burn out. Two. Three. Four. Switch sides, left arm. Switch safely. Tuck those heels to the glutes. Shift space to extend your hips. Breathe it out. Pump it out. Four more. Two. Three. Drive those hips. Time. And that's the round. Shake it out. Stand up. Move it. Shake it. Stretch it. Keep it moving. It's weird. Showing up on one camera, but not showing up on the other. Keep it rolling. Shake those arms out. We're going back to that squat thrust and crawl around in a second. Shake it. Stretch it. Sit. Recover. Hydrate. Do what you got to do. Just grab that heavier dumbbell. All right. We're now rotating through all of those. So we're going squat thrust right, squat thrust left. Crawl out right, crawl out left. Just rotating between those four on your own, on your own pace. All right, let's do it. So starting squat thrust, right, down, jump back, jump in, up. Squat thrust left, switch at the top, up, switch back to the right, crawl out right. Just combining them all together. Switch at the top position. Crawl out left. Crawl it back. Stand up straight. Back to squat thrust right. Just rotate between those four. Squat thrust left. Crawl out right. And stand up. Switch at the top safely. Crawl out left. One more rotation. Squat thrust right. Switch. Squat thrust left. Switch. Crawl out right. Switch. Crawl out left. End up and time. That just breaks up the round. Those squat thrust crawl rounds. Breaks it up. Keep shaking. Keep moving. It's active recovery. It's nonstop movement here. Getting ready for the next set. We're going to go back 
So that very first round, we're going to slow things down for a second here. Where we had those presses, squat to presses, the curls, the curl press, that whole round we did. Where we did about five to eight of each. This round we're going to do about ten of each. So the muscle's going to get worn out a little bit. And it's going to be a longer, a little longer of a round. But the goal is to get your heart rate jacked up just as the muscle's about to fade. So when you switch arms, your heart rate stays up, but your muscles get fresh and get recovered. So you can keep going for a long amount of time without having to stop, without having to take a break. Let's do it. Grab your weight. Right arm. Palm in. We're starting with a press. Palm in press. We're going to do about 10 of them. You'll just switch when I say switch. Don't worry about what number you're on. Go. Pump it. One little pace to it. We're not going super heavy. This should be a light to moderate cardio type weight. Pumping it. Switch left arm. Right away. So the heart rate stays up while the muscles get a chance to recover. It's going to be 10 to 12 of each. Right arm. Squat. Keep squatting, sit back on your hips and heels. Squat. Hip your nose down. Out the mouth and way up. Switch left arm. Squat. Breathe it out. Strong abs. Strong core. If you're not soaking wet, sweating by now, you're doing something wrong. This shirt is completely. You can hear it slapping. <laughs> Time. Right arm. I got to wipe the slime off my hand so the weight doesn't slip out after slapping the slime. Palm in, curl. Squeeze it. So your heart rate just keeps staying up there because your breathing doesn't get a break. Your air is not getting a break. It's just the muscles getting a break, either the right side or the left side, the upper or the lower. So you can do a long, continuous round. Doing about 10 each side. Switch, left arm curl. Squeeze it. From a side view, look, keep that elbow stuck into your side. See, I'm not raising it up like that. It's complete control, squeezing up. I'm not stopping at the top or bottom, but look how slow it's going. It's constant tension on that arm. Squeezing the entire time. Squeeze up. Control down. A couple more. Work through it. Right arm. Squat to press. Squat down. Let those legs help throw that weight up in the air. Breathe it out. Into the nose. Look at the shoulders, they stop, gotta stay square. Even while I'm squatting, that weight wants to pull me to one side. Don't let it. Throw it up there. Get the nose down, out the mouth up. Breathe it out. Time. So the arm will get a break. The legs and the breathing will not. Left arm, squat press. Drive it up there. A little force. Thrust it up. Ha! Breathe out. Burst it. Control that shoulder, though. Three more on this side. About. Go at your own pace. Right arm. Legs get a break. Left arm gets a break. The right arm does not. Curl the press. Right arm. Bicep. Press, look from the side view. Look where the elbow is, it stays there until the weight gets all the way up and it shoots straight up. Elbow comes right back to the side, resist down. But constant flow, constant movement. But complete control. Drive it up. Breathe and squeeze. There it is. Switch, left arm. Curl the press. Keep 
driving it. Left arm just had a break while the right arm was going. Throw it up. Control down. Couple more, couple more, work through it. Control that weight. Time, right arm. Left side gets a break. Back to the legs. Squat to curl, we're not twisting the wrist. If you feel like you need to, you can twist it, but that little extra twist will make you slow down, but if you feel like you want to twist like that, whatever, go for it. Probably won't really slow you down much. So twist, don't switch, twist really doesn't matter. Come in between your legs if you have to. If you feel like out here is making your stance go off, then just keep the palm in. If it's in between your legs, definitely keep your palm in, because it's gonna flow much better, because you're in a real tight position with that elbow. And legs get a break, or arm gets a break, but legs don't. Squat, curl, left side. Head up, shoulders back, chest out. Strong core. Control down with that squat. You're not flopping forward. You're not leaning over the waist. It's a full squat. In through the nose down, out through the mouth up. Two more. And time, and that's the round. Shake it. We've got a fast pace. Difficult round coming up. Final round coming up. Going out with a freaking bang round. Coming up. Oh yeah. Shake it, stretch it. It's gonna be the next variation of, you know, we did the shuffling round with all those different holds and presses. We did the jack round with all the different holds and presses. This one's gonna be high knees with all those holds and presses, right arm, left arm. So it's gonna be the fastest paced round of the day. It's gonna be the hardest round of the day because it has those holds, which are probably the hardest points of this workout. So get those legs ready, get the upper body ready, shake it, stretch the hamstrings, quads, hips, calves, because you're behind me and stretch your calves out. But get those freaking shoulders ready, because they're gonna be holding. Get them ready. Shaking it, stretching it, rotate them. Last round of the day. So this should, and this is the harder one. We have to hold in those positions. So this should be your lighter weight if you have it, light to medium weight, whatever's gonna work for you. Take your last sip, bite your last bit of slime. Get ready to rock. Let's do it. So right arm, and check this out. We're gonna go reverse order of the holds because it's the hardest movement with the legs and it's the last round of the day where you're the most tired so we're gonna get the harder holds out of the way first. So a little different order. You're gonna hold right arm straight out in front of you. All we're doing is high knee and it. Go, we're started. Right arm out, high knees. Go. Pumping it. Get those knees up. Fast you kick. The shorter the set will be. Five, four, this sucks. Three, two, one. Time. Woo. Switch arms, left arm. Push the pace. I'm only using a 15 pounder, that shit is deadly. We have a Russian joining for the final round. Now you're going to be all fresh. Joining us just for the last round of the day? Yeah. Go, pump. High knee, left arm. Straight out in front of you. Look at that. Parallel to the floor. Try to get the knees up a little higher. Brace that core. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo. And we're going to hold up. Right arm. A little easier to hold up than out. Much easier. Go, pump those knees. Ha! All we need is like 10, 15 seconds of each. Because this shit is crazy intensity. Especially at the end of the workout. Going out with a booze. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. We stop on zero, not one, suckers. We'll do it all over again. We'll start this workout from the very, very beginning. We stop on zero, not one. Left arm straight up. High knees, go, ha, 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 push the pace, breathe, pump it, dig, bounce it out, left 
Legs up higher. Four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Right arm. Pressing out. High knees. Going in three, two, one. Go. High knee. Pressing out. Extending that arm. Look at that. Palm in. Pumping it. Oh, some more super suck here. Super suck. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo. Left arm. Oh, yeah. You good? You good? What's so yeah. funny? Oh, it's funny watching me die, huh? Sure. High knee. Left arm. Pressing out. Go. Pumping that left arm out there. High knees. Get them up there. Pump them. Full speed. Whatever bit of juice you got left. I need to see it. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Oh, yeah. Pressing up. High knees. We are almost there. Let's go, freaks. Three, two, one. Bang out. This one's easier. Pump it. Breathe it. Blast it. Find a rhythm. Find a flow. Get it up. Get it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Left arm. High knee. Press up. Suck it up. Let's roll. Boom. Go. Ha. 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 Freeze. going reverse order this time. Shoulder rack position. Right arm. High knees. Go. Pump it. Faster with the legs. This is it for the day. Burn this out. Push the pace. Get them up there. Faster. Higher. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Time. Last one. This is it for the day. It for the day. Left arm, shoulder rack. High knees going to three, two, one. Go! Oh, I started pressing. Brace those abs. Pump those legs. Bounce in your step. Let's go, freaks. Do not stop. Do not slow down. Do not give up at this point. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. We stop on zero. Time. Put the weight down. Shake it out. Stretch those arms. Start the recovery process right now. Stretch those shoulders out. Bring them across while you're catching your breath. If you're not soaked like this, if you're not out of breath completely, you're doing something wrong. Even if you're modifying, even if you modified every single one of these with just a single bottle of water, you should be done. Gas out. It's all about how hard you're pushing for your level. Stretch your shoulders out. The other side. Catch your breath. Big deep breaths. Again, the recovery process starts right now. You should have your post-workout shake ready. Mine's in a canister. All the parts of my post-workout shake in a little Herbalife pre-made funnel things that you pour into the funnel. All I do is twist the bottom off and it funnels right into my cold, cold drink bottle, whatever it's called. Shake it up. <laughs> And it's ready to roll. So all the different things I put in my post-workout shake, all my Herbalife stuff and Truling stuff that I put in my Herbalife in my post-workout shake, it's all in a funnel, ready to go. Funnel has a cap on the top, a little twisty on the bottom. You take the twisty off the bottom, it funnels right into your bottle. Shake it up, ready to roll. If you need help, first let's get that squat stretch. Hold that squat stretch. If you need help with your pre-workout nutrition, your post-workout nutrition, your energy, digestion, getting enough of your macros. If you need help breaking down your macros, schedule a one-on-one -on -one nutritional consultation. Or maybe you just need a reset on it. Maybe you've already done this, done it before, but you just need a little reset. We'll hop on the phone with you. We'll make sure your shit is dialed in. We'll help you track it on my fitness pal. Post it every day here in the group. And we can see exactly where you're at. If you're not posting it, we can't see where it is. 
We can't even jump on the phone with you and help you out with what you've been doing if we don't see at least a week or two worth of data. So you need to be tracking it on my fitness pal, all your foods, all your meals, so we can see your breakdown, your protein, your carbs, and your fats. Make sure you're hitting the right percentages. Make sure you're getting the right amount of grams and calories of both of those, because there is a big difference. If you need a refresher on this stuff, watch the videos here in the group. Go watch some of the even more additional videos on the portal, on the YouTube channel, or just schedule a call, and we will hook you up and help you out like that. That's what this is all about. You have basically unlimited resources to help you reach your goals. There's more, more resources and more available to you now than ever. As more as the world shut down, it's just opened up so many different avenues. So you have now, you have less excuses. And that's why I put that crap on my forearm, which you can't even see. Or it says, Sesuke on, because then Facebook shows it backwards. But yo, less excuses now than ever. You literally have us all the time, either live or recording in your back pocket. You have it on the portal, it's on YouTube, it's here, it's in the VIP page, it's recorded on Zoom in the gallery view, in the speaker view. You're getting an email to you every single morning at 4.30 a.m. ready to rock if you want to catch up to a workout from the day before, if you want to get it done earlier. A second workout of the day, an extra workout on the weekend. Or do it later at night when it's not live. Then you also have it posted every day in, in the VIP group. It's like everywhere. It's, and there's no excuse to miss workouts. And whether it's a recording or live, that's just your mentality. You could do a recording. I do the recording 70% of the time. And I sit there. I put it on my, my calendar, on my phone, that I'm working out at, at whatever it is, 11 a.m., let's say. I put it on my calendar, and I have to be there, and I will not be late. I'll be there 5, 10 minutes early to stretch. I'll start the recording of the workout from the day before or from that morning at 11, and I'm focused, and there's no pausing. There's no timeouts. There's no resets. There's no bathroom breaks or whatever. It's like I'm watching that recording as if I'm there live. So it's just your decision, how serious you want to take it, and how bad you really want to have the results and the energy, and how bad you really want to have your goals, and how bad, how, how high do you want your levels of health and fitness, and, and how strong do you want your immune system to be to battle all the craziness going out there? How much strength and endurance do you want to have to be able to last those long days when the cra all this craziness and you need to be up all day? Like waking up at 3 or 4 in the morning and having energy all the way till nighttime without needing a nap and any of that other stuff. This is what it takes. It's, it's just your decision. That's all it is. It's as simple as that. It's your decision. So, and I'm just addressing that because I've had, I've had some, some people send me messages that it's just too hard to get motivated for the recording. That is your decision. I do the recording as if I'm there live. If I'm late for the recording, I'm putting it on my calendar. That's a promise I'm making to myself and I won't, won't negotiate with that inner bitch in my head that's telling me, oh, it's just a recording. I don't have to be there on time. Hell no. I'm going to be there on time, and I'm going to go all out. And I do those recordings. If I'm not teaching, I'm doing a recording every single day if I'm not following it live. And that's like 75% of the time. And it's an appointment with myself. It's a promise I make to myself. And it's about being a, a man or a woman of your word and keeping, keeping your promises with yourself. We make promises with other people, and we keep promises with other people. But then you, you, you break promises with yourself. It doesn't get any, that's, that, that's an ass backwards. It needs to start with making promises to yourself. That's the way you need to think about it. All right, if you have any questions, comments, need help with anything with your nutrition, with modifications, with the workouts, with any of the apps, and there is a new app that is very close completion, a new Peak Freak training app that's gonna come out that's gonna make things even easier and have even more freaking options that, as if there wasn't enough. It's just getting better and better. So put them in the comments or just send me a message. Give me a call text, whatever it is, you are freaking awesome. No excuses. You could do on this one. I'm sure sure Tyson wants, has something to say. No! Excuse Very, very normal child I can't imagine where you guys are from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.